Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Greek media reports that 25 lawmakers from the Syriza party are set to form a new party called Popular Unity. It is to be led by former energy minister Panagiotis Lafazanis. Nearly one-third of lawmakers from Syriza either voted against or abstained from voting for the austerity terms of a third bailout last week. On Thursday, Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras submitted his resignation and called for a snap election. Macedonian police have used tear gas to disperse thousands of refugees trying to cross its border from Greece. Earlier, the government declared a state of emergency at the border and increased security to deal with the influx of asylum seekers from the Middle East, Asia and Africa. It says it will also deploy troops along a 50-kilometer stretch of its border with Greece. In the last month, almost 39,000 refugees have tried to enter the European Union through Macedonia. Iraq's Grand Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani has warned that without reforms, the country may face partition. Sistani's already made several calls for reforms this month. Last week, the Iraqi parliament gave unanimous support to the anti-corruption plans that Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi proposed. But Iraqis in the capital Baghdad are still holding protests against the government because they believe the reform plan doesn't tackle water shortage and electricity cuts. A Mauritanian court has upheld the two-year prison sentence handed down to the country's leading anti-slavery campaigner. Biram Ul Dah Ul Abaid was jailed alongside two other activists in January. He was also the runner-up in the 2014 presidential elections. They were found guilty of belonging to an illegal organization, leading an unauthorized rally and violence against the police. The Mauritanian government has criminalized slavery, but it's still widely practiced. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.